two, one, and we're live. I am here with Kevin Rogers, and I'm excited because, first of all, Copy Chief is amazing. If you haven't checked out copychief.com, you need to check it out. And whenever you're watching this, hopefully you're watching it before his event. Um, and I tell people this, Kevin, you know, copychief.live. Just to watch your video, it's amazing marketing, it's amazing messaging, and it's just funny. And so even if you don't decide to get a ticket, you should, you know, join Copy Chief. You should go to copychief.live and watch his video. It's it's hilarious. And I'm still not sure if you are a bellboy or not. I won't ruin ruin the video. But um, this is brought to you by rise25.com, and we help serve service professionals, doctors, lawyers, coaches, consultants, um, create additional stop jillers with group coaching, accountability. We do live retreats. Um, so, Kevin, I know we have a few minutes, and I wanted to hop on this because, one, you may open this to public or not. I don't know, but you do these um, Friday. So Chief I chat. want you to talk about what – yeah, what do you call them? Chief Chats. Chief Chat on Fridays. You may open to the public. You may not. But um, I want to talk about maybe a few learnings because people get on there and say what are the best things they're learning in marketing and copywriting and then talk about a little bit about the event you have coming up. Sure. Yeah, Chief Chats are cool. And I was thinking about um, kind of inviting the public, you know, because, look, one of the hardest things about marketing a thing like Copy Chief is that it's it's very much more than one thing, you know. And I love big idea marketing, but uh, when you have a multifaceted uh, thing, um, it, it's hard to give it one big idea. So Copy Chief essentially is three things. It's, uh, it's a training center for copywriters who want to improve mm -hmm. their, their skills or business owners. Um, it's, a, uh, it's, it's sort of like a copywriting laboratory, almost like mech labs, where – uh, you know, we take a case study. So if somebody's running an ad and it's uh, not performing well, uh, they'll bring it into Copy Chief. We all attack it, brainstorm it, you know, uh, put it through copy logic and copy boarding and all these systems. And the person who owns the ad will go test those changes and report back to us. So we're getting to learn in real time what's really yeah. working in the market. Yeah. In it's the like third. in the trenches. This is not yeah, theory. It's, it's like, yeah. You know, one of the problems, Jeremy, when, when a copywriter is new is that even if they're getting hired, they're often not hearing the results. And so it's very hard for them to market themselves to other potential clients because they all want to know what kind of results mm -hmm. you get. And it sounds like BS to say, well, I've written some cool stuff, but I don't know how it did. But it's true. A lot of times your client will just be like, yeah, it worked out great. And like, I need numbers. You know, right. we're number streets. So we get to do that uh, in – the third thing it is, is a marketplace, right? If you want to hire a copywriter, it's a great place to get to know a copywriter before you engage them. You can see how they think. You can see how they critique. You can see the kind of work they've done. So it's a very organic way to start a relationship rather than just sort of cold calling some copywriter and being all freaked out about it. So what's um, a couple of learnings that you've, you've seen on these uh, uh, on the call? So, like, for instance, uh, the way we do best things on the Chief Chats is just members of the community. There's a lot of brilliant people in there, right? And so we all just get together on Fridays at noon Eastern. And w one of the first things we do in Chief Chat well, first is – First of all, Kevin, I was, try I'm try I was trying – before we hit live, I was trying to convince you to open some of this up to the public. So yeah. whether you decide to do that or not is up to you, but yeah. I think it'd be cool. You gave me a really good idea where we could just I, I open with about five or 10 minutes of my biggest takeaways from the week, conversations I've had, uh, really just an open book about how I'm running my business, you know, things I'm talking to people about. It's usually very insightful. Uh, and then I bring on other members to say, tell us in two minutes the best thing you learned this week. Right. And there's a format to it. It's here's what I learned. Here's where I learned it. Here's why it impacted me and my business. And then we end with an if then statement. So I'll say, so if you're struggling to come up with a good headline for your ad, uh, then try this method because, you know, it's been really effective. 
And so it's just a nice little package thing. And what's cool about it, Jeremy, is I'm always trying to help my members be better on video, be better presenters, because as we know, like video is everything. We're doing a Facebook Live right now because it's what works and what resonates, right? So the more I can help my members get comfortable being what I call live mic ready, jump onto a, uh, a thing like this and just be ready to, to kill it as soon as the, the mic goes on and the camera goes live, um, the better. So it serves a lot of purposes. But the coolest thing about it is a great way for us to see each other, to bond and to share the best stuff we're, we're learning. What's, What's one, one of your one favorite, favorite learnings, learnings that, came, that up? came up? Oh, man, there's been so many. Um, let me think of a recent one. I'm just looking at – usually I just look around my desk, and it's like some book I'm reading or, um, you know, I'll tell you, one of the best things is um, – so I'll just do it as the best thing for you so you can see the format. So um, this is actually a, a eight-year-old thing, but I'll act like it's new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the best it's thing new I learned, to people listening. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you'll never know. The best thing I learned this week is uh, to teach with your own work, uh, and I learned this uh, from remembering that the one of the first things I uh, ever produced, really the first thing I ever produced at all, was a report about a sales letter I'd written. It was an it was a ClickBank number one sales letter back when it was a really big deal to have the ClickBank number one sales letter. And it didn't even occur to me to advertise myself as a copywriter with that letter. But a friend uh, gave me the suggestion of um, doing just that. He said, why don't you write a report about what went into the letter to help it become number one? Mm -hmm. And so what I did was I just annotated I went in with a PDF and I just wrote notes in the margins about what's going on in different parts of the copy. And uh, I put it out and man, people went crazy. They loved it. They, and I'll tell you the, the real revelation for me about it was that people that I thought were miles ahead of me in, in experience and knowledge of copywriting saw this thing and were writing to me going, dude, you, I, you, you showed me things I've never seen before. And wow. So it wasn't that I was so brilliant. It was that I wasn't realizing that the work I put into accomplishing what I did uh, had a lot to offer other people, no matter what their experience level. So if you're wondering how to advertise yourself as a copywriter, then consider breaking down some of your copy and showing people your thought process behind what makes it effective. And it'll be a really powerful tool for your business. Kevin, Kevin, that's, that's, that's amazing, amazing for, for anyone, anyone. Because, because, you know, you know showing, showing how what well, goes into your software software software. Software. it's almost about telling your story in a more effective manner. So that's copywriters right. in any profession, any yeah, profession you're, you're can apply. Teaching. Look, I always say to this to my freelancers, ABT, man, always be teaching. It's the easiest content you could ever come up with, and it's already inside your head anyway. If you're going to go through all the work of learning this stuff, you might as well just right. teach it and get double the impact out of it. And most people aren't telling the story behind. I don't know why this pops in my head, but it's like if you go to like there's a million sushi restaurants. If if there was a story of like, well, the the person takes the tuna and they cut this one piece off, and it comes from oh, the yeah. freshest waters or whatever. And it's probably all of the sushi restaurants have come from those same places, but they're telling yeah. their methods and their stories. They, you know that even applies. Well, there's that famous documentary, Jiro loves sushi, and that's what they did. What in, in that. I don't know if this place had lines around the block before the documentary or as a result of, but I, there's like a three hour wait to go have sushi at this place, which is uh, frankly something I would never do, but <laughs> it goes to say, <laughs> I'm impatient. I can't wait for anything. So another call, but talk of, uh, a minute. I put on the screen with the cool about this software that I'm using is that um, I can put on the screen comments here. And Brian Bagnell just said, cool. Kevin and Jeremy, two cool. awesome people. So that's on the screen. But I'll put on here, um, check out copychief.live. What should people know about copychief.live? And I'm going to show it right now so people can check it out. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's just, um, I'm really excited about it, really proud of it. It's our first live event. I've had Copy Chief, the community, for three years. I've uh, been blessed to have most of the greats in the business come in and contribute some kind of training or, or insight to copy chief. So this is the, um, 
uh, first live gathering. And to tell you the truth, Jeremy, if it was nothing but uh, getting the community together, that gives me chills just thinking Huge of that. Win. Right? Huge win. Yeah. Because uh, we're such a tight community. So many people have been with me since the beginning. So 70 of our seats were out the window of 100 seats immediately just from the, the pent up demand for us all to be together. Yeah. On top of that, I've got uh, amazing speaker lineup. John Carlton, Paris Lampropolis, Marcella Allison, Henry Bingaman, uh, Joe Schriefer from Agora Financial, Todd Brown. So I'm, I'm trying to represent not only the A-list copywriters, the, the A-list copy chiefs, and the marketers who would want to get all this knowledge and put it into their business, even if they're a solopreneur. And that's what Todd Brown's so great at. Uh, so it's going to be great knowledge. It's going to be a great hang. And I'm really facilitating the connections. I'm not leaving anything up to chance, right? I'm not saying, hey, come and there'll be copywriters. And hey, come and there'll be people who want to hire copywriters. I'm getting on the phone with every person who buys a ticket to this event, finding out that's exactly what, what they want uh, for their business. What's next for you? So if you're a publisher, I say, what are your next five projects? What kind of writers do you need in your world? And then I'm going out and I'm making those connections. I don't want Copy Chief Live to be uh, a lot of dating. I want honeymoons going off everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because America, yeah. it's not like if you're a copywriter and you're at this event and other uh, potential clients see you talking to your current clients and are like, oh, wow, you work with them, you work with them. Uh, how, how great is that social proof for you, right? So I don't leave anything to chance, man, when it comes to helping freelancers take the next step in their career. I'm like so hands on with it. Uh, I'm just a freak about it because I remember how hard it was for me. Uh, it wasn't until I met John Carlton and John did a, a mellower version of this for me that my career really took off. And uh, I yeah. feel blessed that I get to give some of that back. Yeah, you felt that pain before and you want to give back and you have an amazing community. So People should go to, and I have it on the screen there, copychief. I tell people, Kevin, I told you, I don't care if you buy a ticket, although you should. I don't care if you tell other people, although you should. I don't care if, you know, there's people there who should be high, who hire copywriters who, who should be there. But you need to go and watch Kevin's video because it's amazing and it's hilarious and it's just good marketing. So check out copychief.live and, uh, Kevin, thanks for sharing some of your insights. And it reminds me, everyone's got to tell their story yeah, tell and story. to market themselves. You don't so, have to. It's already in your head, man. Get it out. Yeah. So thank you. I will let you get your next call. This has All been right. awesome. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it, man. We'll talk soon. Let's see here.